Hey YouTube, I have a video of how to remove the power steering out of 2010 Honda Odyssey. Uh, first thing you got to do is remove this cover. I went ahead and removed it already, but all you simply do is just twist these little locks and it pulls off just like so. And then the next thing you want to do is loosen up your driveline belt. And by doing that, you got to remove it by putting pressure on the tensional pulley to loosen up this belt. And I believe it's an 18 millimeter socket, so just go ahead and grab that socket and get started. Okay, I'm sorry, I lied. It's not a 18, like I said, it's a 19 millimeter socket. So let's go ahead and put our socket in there and loosen up that belt. All right, once you have it in place, all you simply do is just push towards the engine. We might need to get this canister out of the way. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trade up this one for this one. This is too long. And it's getting in the way of all this stuff, so. Here we go. All right, now that I have it in place, simply pull forward. Yeah, power steering hose is in the way still. All right, what I went ahead and did was remove the power steering hose, and then I was able to grab it. with the 19 millimeter socket. And all I did was just put it on the tensional breaker, just push forward. And you can feel the, the tension on the breaker release, just like so. And then you just take the belt off and it comes off. The belt is off. We're gonna take this off because we have another little side project we need to get to. Just wanted to show how to remove the power steering. So I gotta remove it anyways. Uh, so now we have I believe it's three bolts or maybe two that's holding it in place. It's one, two, this one, there's a third one. But I think it just might be two. So we're gonna remove those next. And we don't have to remove the flywheel, but it'll make it easier to get that job done. So we just might remove that flywheel. All right, so all I simply did was put a screwdriver to hold this pulley or flywheel from going anywhere. It's holding down to the frame. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and just remove this bolt. We're gonna use a 19 millimeter to get it out of there. Here's the pool. We want to store this in a safe place, make sure we don't lose it. And it is just two screws. That's what we need in place. So let's go ahead and remove that.
once again, put these in a safe location. What I usually do is get a rag and just stuff the powder steering hole where the hose goes. That way no debris goes inside. So now we're going to remove this bottom one. See if we can get it with this. I might need to get a socket. Get a socket real quick. All right, here's a 12 millimeter socket. And there it is, it's coming off already. With a little wiggle so that screw comes off easier. Or try to balance it out where you feel where it's coming out nice and easy. Put your screws in a safe location and there's your power steering now all you simply have to do that to do <laughs> is remove the upper pressurized power steering hose by removing these two bolts I just recently replaced this hose so I don't want to lose my pressure in here and it's because it's pressurized uh, so you don't want to pop this open unless you're going to change this power steering um, so we're just going to set this to the side Fantastic, one of my tools fell. Get my tools out of here. And that's how you remove the power steering. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.